Welcome to Insurance Agent Training every Monday, 2 o'clock Central Standard Time. Today is how to scale to a multi-million dollar insurance agency, right? I've personally scaled insurance agencies, multiple, to seven figures, multi-million dollars, right? I've also helped other agencies and agency owners scale their companies to seven figures, multi-millions, even eight figures using this exact formula. So I'm gonna walk you through how I think, because I'm a steps guy, I'm a system guy, I'm a formula guy. I believe that there's, I believe that there are repeatable processes that other people are using and doing that we can learn from to then also do, right? So when I think about scaling an insurance agency, a big one, man, this is insurance agent training and we're gonna drop it like it's hot today. Not only a target, you have to have a target. If you don't have a target, it's stupid. It is dumb if you do not have a target. If you don't have something in the future that you're shooting to hit, then what the freak are you doing, right? You are floating through life and you will be a loser. You just will, right? So target. What is your target and what does it look like? What is your target out in the future, right? I got a bunch of massive targets and you should have a target. When you think about a target, think about thinking big, man. Think about that target being bigger than you, bigger than life. Whatever target you implement, it's typically too small. So make it bigger, right? Also, it comes down to being ultra creative. When, it comes, when you think about being creative, I think about thinking big because what happens is, I say it from stage all the time when I speak and everything else, when I have a target that's super massive, right? A goal in the future. What happens is the bigger the target, the more creative I become, right? So when you think about creative, take out money, right? If money wasn't an object, right? If knowing something wasn't an object, if having access to something wasn't an object, right? If figuring something out wasn't an obstacle, right? That's where you start to think big because you start to force yourself to think about things that you wouldn't normally do. That's where thinking big comes in. It's being creative, right? Because you got to find ways and ideas to make this target a reality, right? Also, what are the steps? What are the steps? One, you guys see me, I'm always using steps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, whatever. What are the steps for you to hit this target? Do you know what they are, right? And I'm talking, make them tough. The tougher they are, the better steps they are. Most people never scale and never set a big enough target, they're not creative enough, and they never think about the steps in detail enough. And that's why they fail. Because they're too lazy to implement tough stuff. They're just lazy, right? They're just lazy, right? So steps. What are the steps that you need to do that? And then what can you do to implement those steps? What do those steps look like and what can you do to implement them, right? What are things that you have to do right away to implement those steps? If one of those steps is generating a thousand leads a month, hypothetically, right? What do you need to implement to actually check that off your list and make that a reality? How about catching the mark in the middle of the show, right? Implement, what do you need to implement? What are the steps and what do you need to implement to make those steps a re reality, right? How do you do that? What does that look like, right? And the big ticket that makes people scale is long-term consistency. Obedience in the same direction for a long period of time. As Coach, Coach Burt would say, right? He's speaking at 8% Nation this year. Consistency is key. Obedience, long-term obedience in the same direction, right? and you'll continue to grow and scale and it'll make you think bigger, right? So if you wanna scale a multi-million dollar insurance agency, while we're on insurance agent training today, target, what's it look like, what is it, right? Creative, force yourself to be more creative right now than you've ever been before. I used to tell myself, Cody, you ain't creative, bro. I was wrong, <laughs> I'm pretty creative, right? 
Think big, come up with ways. But thinking big and having massive targets forces you to be more creative than you thought you could be. What's the steps? Right? What do the steps look like? You gotta detail the steps. And then you gotta do whatever it takes to implement those steps to make them a reality, right? And how do we create, have long-term consistency, long-term obedience in the same direction is key. How do we make all of these things, whether your target is, you know, hey, I want a thousand clients, right? You're thinking too small, Garen freaking T. Maybe it's I want a thousand agents, right? You're still thinking too small. That ain't even that hard, right? Or maybe you're like, hey, I want a company that does 10 million in residual income. <laughs> That's pretty good, right? In residual income. That ain't bad, right? So what does that look like? How do we break that down? And how can you start to think about scaling a multi-million dollar insurance agency? You have to believe in yourself, right? You have to believe in making that a reality or the chances of you making it a reality are really slim. Because when everybody else, when you say something big and you have to throw out a huge target and everybody says, hey, that's too tough. All your friends are like, dude, you're stupid, right? And your family's like, won't you just get a real job? right? But deep down, you know that you've got it in there, right? And you've got the ability to make it a reality, right? So these are some steps. The first thing is get you thinking bigger about having an actual target at some point in the future in place. That's what we do on insurance agent training. We come up with ways for you to scale and grow. We give you training pieces. Today is about, hey, I want to scale an agency, right? Maybe, maybe you're a PNC agency, right? Maybe you're a PNC agency, Dude, and you want freaking 10 million in residual income, whatever the case is, right? There's steps to it. You can break it down and you need to think about what do I need to be doing? Maybe, maybe you, maybe you gotta get to where you do 100 quotes a week to get there in 10 years. I don't know, right? But figure it out, scale it, think about it. And thanks for watching Insurance Agent Training. Every Monday I'm here with you to make you better. I love helping you. I'm the dude that wants to get you somewhere, man. Thanks for watching. Appreciate you guys. Have an incredible week.